Hi there everyone. Hope everything's going well for you. Over the years um, I had all kinds of requests regarding guns and how to take them apart and how to put them back together. And one of the ones that didn't come up too often but once in a while people were very frustrated with the Remington Lee and I was talking about it with somebody and they said well why don't you make a video on how to take that bolt out. And it's not that complicated but um, I thought I would put it in some context. So, you, I mean, if you know guns a little bit, this looks a lot like a Lee Enfield, but it's actually a Remington Lee. This one's in 3030, and you can see the similarities. I put a, I put a Lee Metford or Lee Speed Metford action on the table. You can see the heritage of this rifle. Now, the, this rifle locks at the back and was uh, perfected by Enfield, and therefore it's called the Lee Enfield. Um, this is the Remington. Now here's, here's the cool thing. <clears throat> uh, the, the Remington locks at the front, so here are the locking lugs. So it probably reminds most people of a Mauser, and those lugs rotate just as you'd expect them to down. And then we've got another um, lock, right here at the back of the action, which is probably what Enfield um, observed and then they ended up just deciding to lock the Lee Enfield with a modified uh, kind of a rib on the side. Anyway, a lot of people take this Lee and um, Remington Lee and they try to take the bolt out by pulling the trigger and, and pulling on the bolt and it's just an exercise in frustration and it, it isn't really a conventional takedown. So what you do is you, you open the bolt, make sure it's not loaded and all that stuff, and then you partially close the bolt, pull the trigger and move it just a little bit forward until you have this rail kind of clear and unobstructed. And then it doesn't look like there's anything here, but there's actually a separate piece here and there's a little cut for a fingernail and you simply lift up on that. You can hardly see that. And then that piece pivots down. Then you can lift this piece out. And I'll set it here. And then, I think it's, I mean, it's a fantastic design. And then the bolt head separates from the bolt and the extractor comes out as well. The extractor is there, so we pop that down. And then the bolt head, um, well, mostly you can just drop it out. And, and there you have the uh, Remington Lee bolt taken apart. And you can take, take it out the back. And as I've said before, I don't generally take my guns apart. But the, this one is one of the easiest, if you know that. And the reverse procedure is... You can watch the video backwards. So it's um, it's very simple, very clean design. I, I like this early bolt head. I mean, we're talking about a long time ago, and it took decades before the industry moved to this design. Of course, the Lee Enfield has removable bolt heads, but it doesn't have the locking lugs in the front. It's only now that we see this system um, in, in a lot of rifles. So that's it. I mean, the key element being um, this piece here. Once you pivot this out of that recess, it's easy to take the bolt out. But if you don't know that, then it looks like you just can't get the bolt out. So very simple. And uh, just in case somebody's wondering to take the bolt out of this one, move the bolt back, flip this up, and your bolt is out. So I think this is probably a better system. Anyhow, quick video, and um, for those of you that were stuck in a mystery, hopefully that helps. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. And I just did an interesting Patreon video on gun auctions and how to make money at gun auctions or do well at gun auctions. Um, maybe sign up there or visit me there. And um, it's always important that you subscribe to the channel, so please do that. That's about it, and we'll see you on the next video.